Today is the day thousands of Wisconsinites have been waiting for, the start of gun deer hunting season. The DNR is expecting an increase in the number of hunters out in the field this year. Amanda Quintana has a few things you need to remember before heading out. The wait is over. Saturday marks the start of a nine-day hunting season, bringing in people from all over the world. We typically get about 600,000 people participate, and we usually have uh, licensed sales from people in every single state in the country and we usually have 20 to 25 foreign countries represented as well. A majority of the harvest will come from southern Wisconsin where there's always the highest deer numbers. And that farmland region is highly productive. The deer aren't impacted by winter severity and things like that like they might be in the north. Food is abundant. Survival is high. Even the numbers in northern Wisconsin are up a change from the last few years and there's a few other differences this season too. Now the rule allows both the men to and the mentee to carry a firearm. This week, Governor Scott Walker signed a law to eliminate the minimum hunting age for a mentored hunt and also get rid of the rule to allow only one gun between the two. There is an adult there who is familiar with hunting and has passed hunter safety. They have years of experience. So the danger, you know, it's, it's no greater than it was in the past. Um, it's just being allowed with a younger person. Hunters are also no longer required to validate or attach tags to their harvested deer or turkey, but are still required to carry proof of valid tags. And when you are successful, don't forget to register your deer. Really the backbone of a lot that we do within deer management is knowing what the actual harvest is. The season runs through the Sunday after Thanksgiving. You can buy a license and tags at any point during that time.